Hi friends, it's Thursday Tales, and this week we're talking about flowers. So I have a really fun book for you today called Lola Plants a Garden, and it's by Anna McQuinn, illustrated by Rosalind Beardshaw. Have you ever planted anything? Um, if you came by this week for the craft, it was a seed to plant. Um, so it'll grow hopefully in the little container that we gave you. And then eventually you'll plant it outside and it'll bloom and be a beautiful flower. Um, sometimes it's fun to plant like a bean seed also, and you can see the roots growing. Um, it's really cool to see how a, how a plant grows. So I wonder, Lola plants a garden. What do you think Lola might want to plant? If you could plant anything, what would you want to plant? Would you want flowers or vegetables or fruits or, I don't know, a tree, uh, bushes? What would you like to plant? Let's see what Lola decides on, okay? Here we go. Lola plants a garden. Lola loves her book of garden poems. Her favorite poem is the one about Mary Mary. Do you know that one? It goes like this. It's at the very beginning. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Lola wants to plant a garden. Mommy says there's room near the vegetables. Ooh, how exciting. And you can see on the tree, there aren't a lot of um, buds or anything going. Unlike the tree behind me, got some big flowers going there. Lola gets books about gardens from the library. It's a good place to get books, right? She chooses her favorite flowers from the books. Mommy makes a list. They go to the garden store to buy seeds. This is a lot of thinking, right? Deciding what to plant and then going to find them and then actually planting them and then the waiting. Lola and Mommy make the garden. The seed packets mark where the flowers are planted. That's really smart, right? So they know where things are. Lola will have to wait a long time for them to grow. Do you know what you have to do while you're waiting for um, something to grow? Do you know what will help it? Hmm. I wonder if there's anything from the sky that will help it, like the sun, right? Most flowers, most plants need some sun. Um, they also need some moisture, some rain, or if it doesn't rain, then you might have to get out your hose or some kind of watering can or something. And then sometimes you have to pull weeds. So sometimes there's some work to be done to get a garden going, but oh, it's so worth it, right? To have those beautiful flowers or the vegetables or whatever you're growing. Lola makes her own flower book while she waits. Oh, look at those nice flowers that she's making. Mommy types the Mary Mary poem and Lola glues it in. Oh, how cool. So she planted a garden and now she's creating a book about a garden. Wow. Nice work, Lola. Lola makes a string of bells. She finds shells and some old beads. Hmm, that sounds like a poem that we read at the very beginning that she liked. Hmm. She even makes a little Mary Mary. Look at that. One day, Lola sees tiny green shoots. Look at that. They're just starting to grow. Yay! She pulls up weeds so the shoots can grow. Lola's really taking care of her garden. Lola's flowers grow bigger. They open up to the sun. Oh, wow. Look at those. So colorful, and some of them are really big, bigger than Lola. Daddy helps Lola hang her shiny bells. Lola finds Mary Mary a special spot. It's just perfect. Do you see Mary Mary there in the garden? Orla, Ben, and Ty are coming to see Lola's garden. Lola and Mommy make cupcakes. Yum. Lola wears her flower shirt and Mommy helps Lola with her hair. She is all ready for a garden party, isn't she? Lola's friends love everything about her garden. They share the crunchy peas and sweet strawberries that mommy grew. Then Lola makes up a story about Mary Mary. What kind of garden will Lola plant next? Oh, what a fun garden party, celebrating her flowers growing 
and the strawberries and other things that our mom planted and being with friends. How nice. And here's a fun little twist on the Mary Mary Quite Contrary poem. Lola, Lola, extraordinary. How does your garden grow? With flower seeds and shells and beads and happy friends all in a row. I hope you enjoyed this story, Lola Plants a Garden. And there are some other books in the Lola series. So if you enjoyed reading about Lola and her adventures, you might want to come check those out too. Hope to see you soon. Bye.